Hello, my name is Janine, and I'm going to start by talking about the first lens recommended by Satterley, and that is the situational environmental lens. Now, this lens is rooted in ecological systems theory. Ecological systems theory views emotional and psychological difficulties as a product of the relationships between multiple levels of the environment. We need to consider the context of people's experiences when offering support. It's important for us to consider the interaction of all levels that create the environment of the individuals that we help. Intervention should focus on each level, such as individual characteristics and family relationships. At a community level as well, such as the safety of neighborhoods and community level programs, for example. At a much larger level, social workers have a role in advocating for change related to homelessness, income and employment discrimination, as well as many others. There are many frameworks based on ecological systems theory. In particular, I like risk and resilience frameworks. And I cite Jacqueline Kokorin in our reference list. With a risk and resilience framework, the focus is on preventing risk and ameliorating the effects of risk. This is a balancing of risk and protective factors. Also, it's good to think about demands and resources. And I cite Michael Rothery um, in the Cody Lehman textbook. Demands are situations we have to respond to in our lives. Resources help us to respond adaptively. And lastly, I talk about Green, who I cite as well in our reference list, and Resilient Stress Model, which focuses on the unique capacity of people to re-establish functional adaptive capacity after suffering significant stress. In this movie, The Soloist, Nathaniel, despite the many adversities he experiences, shows tremendous ability to adapt and survive. And he touched the life of Steve Lopez, the newspaper reporter who had simply sought him out for a good story.